Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna get? NBC, okay, plus Android. All right, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we take this little guy's head and we change the colors and put it on each of the tips of the NBC logo. And I'm thinking we call it and BC, I don't know. So first step is gonna be to resize this and put it on the top of each of these. Okay, here is what we're working with. Now I need to go through each one of these and turn them the right colors. Okay, I really like this, but I do wanna find a way to differentiate the Android from the NBC. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a white stroke to each of them. This is looking so funny. I love all the little creatures. Okay, last step is just to add the and in there, and here's the final result. This turned out so much funnier than I ever could have imagined with all the tiny little heads all over it. I'm not sold on the name though. Let me know if you have any other ideas and what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have 7-Eleven plus McDonald's, okay, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, let's go. Okay, I think it'd be fun because this shape is almost like this shape to use this and make it into an M and do everything in the colors of the 7-Eleven logo, maybe making it say McLevin. So first I'm gonna select this shape here. Then I'm gonna move that down here and I'm gonna duplicate it. Here's what that's looking like. Now I'm gonna take all the letters from 7-Eleven and type out Mick. Now I wanna bring in this shape up here. Now I just need to make the background green and here's the final result. I love how this one turned out. The 7-Eleven logo, something about it is still nostalgic, a little bit 70s vibe. So mixing that with McDonald's, I think just turned out really perfect. And I wish McDonald's would have a little bit more fun with their colors. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Cartoon Network plus Domino's. Okay, we have pretty good matching shapes on this one. I think I have an idea. Let's go. All right, so this is kind of a basic one, but what I'm thinking is I do the C over here in red and the N over here in blue, and then put Cartoon Network next to it. So the first thing I need to do is cover up all of the colors here and grab the C. And I'm gonna make that red and then move that down over top of the blue. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the N and spin it to fit in there. Lastly, I'm gonna mask out network and type it out so it says Domin Network. Finally, I'm going to fit it on the side of the logo and here's the final result. This one is pretty simple, but I do love the different colors and seeing that with the Cartoon Network. And I just love the new Domino's logo, so anytime I get to use it, I'm happy. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Target plus Starbucks. Okay, we've got the shapes already. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, since they both are circles, I'm thinking what we do is basically try to fit the Starbucks logo within the Target logo and try to make kind of like the outside be this kind of negative and the inside be the reverse. I don't know, I'll try it, let's go. I'm gonna lower the opacity so we can see what we're working with. Select all of the different white parts of the Starbucks logo. Okay, now if I do just the inner two circles here, then I should be able to dye all of this whole part white. Yes, that worked perfectly. This time I should be able to dye the inner part red. Color them white and here's the final result. It's really trippy, but I do think they could tweak it a bit for their cafes within Target. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.